open your heart and tell me what you feel for me. Mother, you make Teresa sound like a threat to the free world. She's not. No, but she is a threat to you. I'm sorry. Mom, I don't see it. Well, fortunately for both of us, I do. Go to Ethan now. Claim him. Make him yours. Do not take a chance of losing him, Gwen. Don't worry, Mother. I'm not going to lose Ethan. And God help any woman who tries to take him away from me. I told you how I felt about you when I thought we were going to die. And now I want you to tell me. Do you love me? Ethan, it's Gwen. I have something to tell you. Gwen, what are you doing here? I, I thought you'd gone home. Oh, I forgot I left my purse in your sister's room when I changed clothes. I couldn't leave without giving you another goodnight kiss and telling you again how much I love you. Huh. <laughs> well, uh, good night. Uh, be careful. Well, with my mother waiting for me, I'm in no rush to get home. Huh. Why? Why? Did something happen? Well, she just called me on my cell phone. She was checking up on the threat from Teresa, saying she's a snake trying to get her fangs in you and marry up. Don't worry, I assured my mother that there is no threat from the housekeeper's daughter. And I, I really still hope you're not angry with me for being suspicious of Teresa. I mean, I said I was sorry, and you were right. Teresa is no threat to our relationship. Uh, no, Gwen, you don't need to apologize. Oh, good night. Ethan, why are you standing here with the door half closed? It's like you, you want to get rid of me or something. I mean, is there a reason you don't want me to come in? 